G'day guys, Mr. Bennett here. Today we're going to be looking at the um, concept of electron guns and how you can use them. Now, the first thing you have to uh, relate this to, I suppose, is the TV. And so what happens here on your TV screen is you have um, a rectangle. All right, so you've got 1920 by 1080. So these are all little pixels going that way and also going that way. So what actually happens in our TV is each electron hits each of one of these pixels, right? And if the TV is running at 200 hertz, right? Then what will happen is it will hit each of those pixels 200 times a second. And each of the pixels uses the um, RGB. So you've got your green, your blue, and your red. And so if you stimulate any of those particular colours, what you can do is make any colour um, that you like. All right, so uh, in terms of, uh, it's a bit like even how a, our printer works in terms of how the TV actually puts um, the colours together. So it's quite complicated. And if you think about, obviously, you know, the, um, the electrons hitting all those things, you know, it's amazing technology. It sort of blows my mind. I sort of understand how it works, but I, you know, I'm still amazed by how it does actually work. It's quite, quite amazing. Now, let's just look at the concept of a uh, electron gun and how that works. So what you basically will do is you'll have some sort of filament. Now, if you look in the back of your old TV, especially old TVs, is you have a wire that will glow, will glow red. All right, and so what that does, it heats up, and then it ejects electrons. All right, and then what you do is where this particular uh, filament is. All right, so you'll have that as say a, a zero or a negative plate, and then you'll have another plate over here, which will will be a positive plate. With a positive plate over here. We're going to have an electron beam. So what's going to happen is the electron's going to accelerate across here and some of the electrons will hit the actual plate but there'll be a beam of electrons that come through there. And then because they have a charge, what you can do is you can control those by using also uh, some other plates here. Uh, so you can have some other plates um, here going horizontally which will allow you to um, basically you know I could put a plus there and a minus there so if I want to control the electron I can make it go up or down depending on um, the polarity of those particular plates now the simple thing is um, this gap here the distance of this gap doesn't really matter all right, that distance doesn't really matter. It's the voltage that you supply across there. So if you put something like uh, 2,000 volts across there, we can work out the gain in, in energy of that particular electron. So we know that the work done is equal to Q times by the potential difference. So we're talk talking about an electron, 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. And then the voltage there is 2,000. Now, you could say that's 2,000 electron volts is the gain in, in work. Um, but what we need to do is do that calculation on our calculator. Um, so 2,000 times 1.6 to the power of minus 19. And that will give us our um, our energy that it's actually gained. All right, so that's 3.2. Uh, where are we? That's going to be equal to 3.2 by 10 to the minus 16 joules. That's the energy that that thing's picked up. Now the interesting thing that we we actually have to see from here is how fast will that electron be moving? Right, that's something we, we, we actually do want to know. So what we know is the work is equal to the potential energy that it's lost or gained, which is also equal to the kinetic energy that it's gaining as well. So we know the kinetic energy is equal to half the mass times by the velocity squared. 
and that's equal to um, the energy that we have over there which is the work um, so therefore uh, that's it well we know that one is equal to 3.3 by 10 to the minus 16 so the velocity is equal to simply the rearrangement of this formula right? so um, the, the rearrangement of this formula is simply going to be 2 times the kinetic energy over the mass and you have to take the keeping in mind that's the kinetic energy that's actually gaining right? so if we put that into the formula uh, we can simply work that out in one step so that's going to be 2 lots of one point, uh, sorry, 3.2 by 10 to the minus 16 and that's all over the mass of a electron now electron is uh, 9.11 by 10 to the minus 31 kilograms right so when I start going over to work that out so I'm just simply go to my calculator 2 times by the previous answer divide that by 9.11 um, to the minus 31 enter that will give me the velocity. So the velocity is 2.65 by 10 to the 7. Alright. So that's equal to uh, 2.65 by 10 to the 7 meters per second. Now it's getting pretty fast. It's not quite as quick as speed of light, but it's actually moving quite quickly. So we do know that these particular particles do travel quite quickly. So, the concept of the electron gun is simply to accelerate electrons to high speed, so then we can bombard them on a, like a, on a plasma screen or on a pixel on a TV screen. So that's one application, but they do obviously have other applications as well. Uh, we'll talk about that when we start looking at the cyclotron as well. Um, but yeah, simply, the, the electron gun is the first part of what you do in a question. Now sometimes they'll actually give you the velocity of the particle entering the electric field, but, but generally they, they may ask you to do the electron gun part. All right? So you need to make sure you understand the rearrangement of that formula and what's actually happening there.